Good evening, everyone, and welcome, or good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are in the world. I'm filming or recording from London, so it's evening here. Thank you for being here, and I, uh, I really appreciate you being here. It's, uh, I know your time is valuable, so I'm going to do my best to give you some really great value so you can leave in the next 40 odd minutes with some really great value, which you can implement straight away and know that your time was worth investing right now. So that is my aim to give you some really cool value and I do have an opportunity at the end for you to work with me. And I'm gonna give you a very quick heads up on that now. Well, that was the heads up. So this is called how to get rid of your eczema without drugs, steroids, or expensive moisturizers. My goal in this webinar is to help you completely change your view on what eczema is by the end of this one hour or 40 minutes. So you have some more power, as it were, to go about healing it from the inside out and to change your kind of habits and what you might have been doing until now. Because I could tell you I've, I've had my own battle for the odd, I guess about 30 odd years. And it wasn't until the last four years that I discovered what it really was. So at the end of this, you're going to leave with a fresh perspective, new perspective, promising perspective on how you can heal your skin from the inside out. So I love this quote, your body's ability to heal is greater than anyone has allowed you to believe. This is such a powerful quote and I'm saying it's mine, but it's not actually. It's actually your body's ability to heal is greater than anyone has permitted you to believe. I didn't like the grammar and no one had taken it. So I changed it and claimed it as mine, but it's so incredibly true. And you're about to find out why we have been kind of disempowered around our health and how you can take your power back. It's cheesy as it sounds, but to really understand how powerful your body is in healing itself when you give it what it needs and take away what is harming it. So when you stay until the end, as I said, you're gonna get some actionable content. This, is, this, this isn't just a, you know, a sales pitch, as it were. This is content which you're gonna actually be able to use. And what makes this different? Well, I'm presenting to you and I'm gonna show you who I am and how I can get you results. So best-selling author, that's kind of cool, but who cares? Health coach and speaker, uh, I've been doing this for about four years, particularly health coaching, helping people reverse eczema and other conditions. I have an award-winning health um, system online. It's uh, an online program. I'm a certified fitness nutrition specialist. And most of all, for the purpose of this webinar, this is what's mostly interesting for you. So I'm a former eczema sufferer. And I've helped people heal their bodies of eczema so they can stop going to the doctor asking for the same temporary solutions. So I believe you're in good hands. You are in good hands. And I hope I am giving you some confidence to listen to what I have to say because I really do believe this and know that I can add huge value to your life right now. So I've done a lot of things right. However, I have done also a lot of things wrong. So this is my back as it used to be. Uh, covered in eczema and this is what happens if I don't follow what I'm about to show you in this presentation. So creams would work in the short term and then what happens just comes back again. Doctors are smart but they were missing something. I knew this from my mid-teens. I uh, got a bit suspicious about why I was always given drugs or steroids or these really harmful moisturizers by the doctor whenever I went to go and see the doctor. And there was actually a specific reason why I had eczema and my friends didn't. So I discovered this the hard way and you get to cheat and get the easy way. The hard way is this. So that's my right arm as it looks now. And you can see that the pigment has gone on my wrist. And um, this is what happens when you use steroids too much. It can also lead to topical steroid withdrawal syndrome, which is when your skin becomes so dependent on the use of steroids that when you come off them, you become this horrible flaky mess and it takes a long time for your skin and for your immune system to recover. So I would rely on creams for the short term relief. I'd only take action when skin breaks out. And I began to think that I was hopeless. I actually thought for many, many years that this was my thing, I just had to live with it. That's my curse as it were. And I just thought it was hereditary and there's nothing else I could do. So would you like to get the easy way straight to clear our skin? I hope you say a very loud yes at this point. So again, that's me on the left and that's me on the right with clear skin. It would be on my arms, legs, uh, neck, 
where else like it's obviously on my back chest it would just be everywhere so for the most part it's gone and i've been mostly four years uh, free of eczema i can't say it's cured i've got to be very careful with that word cured because uh cure suggests that it, it'll never come back but it can come back and uh, if you don't follow the protocol or follow follow the way of life which li- enables you to live eczema free then it can come back so um i would say for the most part it's gone and i know exactly how to keep it keep my skin clear so I didn't find a magic skin cream or a drug uh, which solved it all. It was about my lifestyle, what I ate, how I move, and also managing emotions. So I can tell you this quite um, honestly, if I don't follow my protocol, that was actually quite recently, that was in the last year. If I didn't do what um, I t- I'm teaching now, this happens. And sometimes I have to push my limits just to see if my body has changed at all. And no, no, it hasn't. <laughs> So I can't continue to do that and I need to look after myself. So I do need to give you a quick disclaimer. This won't work for everyone. Um, it, it, well, it could look work for everyone, but it's depending on your application of the results and your severity of your eczema, results will vary. I cannot, I cannot guarantee that you'll have the same results I did, or my customers or clients. Everybody is different. So I'm going to reveal to you these three secrets that I talked about on a landing copy to help prevent and heal your skin from within. Oops, there's a spelling mistake there. Sorry. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to mark. So I've just realized there's a few people. I need to mark people. This is strange. I'm trying to mute people and I can't. Hi everyone, could could you could you mute your um could you mute yourselves? For some reason my my software isn't allowing me to mute. Something's going wrong with this with the sound. I can uh, excuse, if you're listening to me, April, can you turn the music off, please? Because I can hear you and I can't mute you. Right. Thank you. Okay. I'll now continue. Right. So number one, eczema is just a symptom. It doesn't matter if you've had it your whole life. You can heal your skin from within. You can heal your own skin. This is the first secret. It isn't a disease, it is a symptom. What is a symptom? Well, a symptom is like a messenger. It doesn't doesn't matter if it's eczema or psoriasis or acne or any other symptom. It is not, it's, it's not an illness. It is just a symptom. And that, symptoms are like messengers trying to communicate with you something. They're trying, trying to say, hey, Neil, or whatever your name is, something's out of balance. It requires your attention. Um, time to take some, take, take some action. See what's harming your body and see how you can get rid of the symptom. But the point is, it's a symptom giving us some indication that change is needed. So these are very powerful in emergency. These are drugs that we all know that are very, very powerful. They get us out of trouble. They can save lives. They can get us out of pain. The only thing is when they use short term, like sort of, you know, antibiotics, if they use, you know, continuously, that they're causing a lot of harm. And I call them a Band-Aid solution or plaster if you're in England. It, the analogy I like to use is when we, when we have eczema and we, we just go to the doctor and we get a drug or a cream, you know, or steroid cream or, you know, whether it's oral or topical. When we, when we use this system, it's like taking a broken down car to a paint shop and giving in a paint job because it's, under, it's ignoring the root cause of why it's there in the first place. And I'd like to just give you some assurance now. It really doesn't matter if you think it's genetic because you have the power to override these genes that you might have. If you, if you think you have a predisposition, you have the power to override the genes by the choices that you make. So I regard these symptom um, tackling remedies given in Western medicine as a Band-Aid solution. They're symptom only um, measures. It's not understanding what it is at the root cause. So eczema is a symptom, it's nothing else. So what do we tend to do? We We just address the symptom, cream, drugs, steroids, whatever it is. I didn't used to 
pay attention to my diet. I did not listen to my body. And that on one particular occasion, I'll never forget this. I was 29 or 28. I walked into work. I used to work in London in real estate investment. And I walked into the office after a big night out. And uh, a friend of mine just stopped in her tracks. And she stopped and looked at me and pointed at me and went, what's happened to your face? And I'll never forget that because I had eczema all over my face. And it was just, it was horrific. And we laughed about it. And we're still really good friends. But um, as you can imagine, it didn't really uh, sit so well with me. It hit my confidence. And that would happen again and again and again. But that particular moment, I just, I'll, I'll never be able to forget. So secret number two is under, understand its root cause and relationship to your gut. So overuse of steroids. There it is again. And topical steroid withdrawal syndrome. This is what happens when you only tackle the symptoms and never the root cause. Antibiotics harm the gut, damaging the immune system. It is now known that 70 to 80% of the immune system is in the gut, in and around the gut. And there is a direct link between the health of our gut and our skin. It couldn't be more direct. And we need to pay attention to our guts through a number of different means. Uh, what we put in our bodies, how we manage our emotions, how we move and stuff. All of this impacts the health of our gut. So off-the-shelf off the creams actually contain nasty ingredients like parabens. Our skin is the largest organ on, on the body and it absorbs anything into the bloodstream. So we need to be so careful, so mindful about what we put in our skin because it quite literally absorbs it. So not only is it the largest organ on the body, it's also the first indication that there's something out of balance in the body. It's, it's very intelligent, the human body, very, very intelligent. And the skin is the first organ to communicate this with us. I actually think it's a very intelligent, powerful, beautiful uh, mechanism that, that the body gives us. And I'm starting to think of it as a gift now. If I get a flare up or, well, yeah, a flare up basically, I, uh, I go, right, what have I done wrong? And I, I normally get an answer very, very quickly because I can, I can reverse engineer what caused the flare ups very, very quickly. So what is the root cause? It is inflammation. This is uh, something I stumbled upon when I was researching my latest book, The Vitality Secret. And uh, I realized that this chronic inflammation that my father had been diagnosed with a few years prior to his stroke was um, the same root cause, the same thing behind my eczema. So for him, it first demonstrated in itself as asthma, which is chronic inflammation of the bronchial tubes. Western medicine gives you a steroid inhaler to and allow you to breathe. It widens the bronchial tubes, it allows you to breathe, but it's failing to address the root cause of the asthma. And this is inflammation. And then it led to high blood pressure and then a stroke. So this is one of the biggest drivers behind, or the biggest driver behind why I'm doing everything I'm doing now. I want people to realize that everything has a root cause and we have, you have the, the power to heal anything by understanding this. And the sooner we turn, turn away from Western medicine or what, what our dermatologists have said, the sooner we can heal our own bodies. And I mean that so strongly. And I'll give you a story about a dermatologist in a second. So this chronic inflammation is the root cause of all skin conditions, or pretty much every skin condition. And uh, it's not just eczema, it could be psoriasis or rosacea or dermatitis, it could be anything. And <clears throat> what many people, you've probably heard of the term, but you may not understand what it is. So it's, uh, that's what I'm about to tell you. So this is uh, depicting the, the immune system. This is, dem this is like demonstrating what, what it is. So inflammation in its simplest form is your immune system protecting you. It's like, it's your immune system under attack. It's your immune system perceiving that there is an attack on it because something foreign enters the body. When I say foreign, it could be, I mean, alien. I mean, something that is not designed for human consumption whether it's a food or a toxin or environmental toxin or something you put on your skin, like a chemical or something, if, um, and that could be in a detergent or washing powder, for example, but if something enters the body that the body does not rec recognize, it has the capacity, the potential to trigger inflammation. So immune, uh, inflammation is an immune response to what your body perceives as an attack on it. It's a very healthy immune response. It's very healthy, but the thing is, when it happens again and again and again, that's what leads to these constant skin outbreaks, these constant asthma attacks and whatever else symptom is displaying itself in your body. So this is a brilliant, brilliant little uh, a quote that I was sent by a friend of mine when I was writing my book, actually. If you don't recognize an ingredient, your body won't either. 
we need to be very mindful about what we eat because a lot of what we find in supermarket shelves these days on, uh, you know, whether it, wherever you are in the world, if it's England or America, I normally live in LA, there are things in our supermarkets or grocery stores, whatever you call them, which we should not be consuming as humans. There's, there's chemicals, there's artificial flavorings and preservatives, way too much sugar. There's all these na unnatural compounds that when we consume them, they have the power to create this inflammatory response in the body. And then there's other things as well, which um, have the potential to cause inflammation. This is a guy in a full biological protective suit spraying pesticides, herbicides, or fungicides, or insecticides, anything that ends in the sides, a very harmful chemical, which is designed to help the farmers out, to help them you know, not get, it helps their crops not be eaten or taken over by other plants. But the point is these are chemicals, these are harmful chemicals, and your body doesn't recognize them. And we, it, they can be presented in very healthy fruit that we're consuming, but they're completely laced in these chemicals. Uh, I'm using that image because it's quite a powerful one. We, it's, it, I want to be careful what I say here. We still need to consume fruits and vegetables. And if you can't get organic, it's better to have vegetables which aren't organic than not having vegetables at all. But we want to be going organic as much as we possibly can. So we don't get the harmful ingredients the harmful chemicals on them which have the potential to cause an inflammatory response in the body i'll just want to make that point again it's better to have vegetables which aren't organic than to have vegetables than to not have vegetables we should still be having vegetables as many as we can so what else might your human body human body not recognize so this is me just being a bit silly but uh, i just want to ask this question an important question to ask, am I a human or a baby cow? This is a baby cow, and this is a human baby. Uh, there's a human, there's a, sorry, that's not a human. That's a baby cow, and that's a human baby. The point I'm trying to make is when we drink milk from a, an udder, it's not a very sensible idea, and, and here's why. When we think of it like this remember remember inflammation is your immune system recognize or not recognizing something entering the body and and it reacts as if it's a foreign or alien invader think about what milk is for a second and here's just a quick analogy human breast milk is specifically designed for baby human beings to grow fast to give them the right boost in life the right nutrients micronutrients macronutrients hormones amino acids for these baby human beings to grow fast, to give them the right boost in life. Similarly, cow's milk is specifically designed for baby cows to grow fast. This is a baby cow, to give them the right boost in life, the right nutrients, again, micronutrients, macronutrients, amino acids, proteins, hormones for these baby, ba baby cows, which are huge at birth, to give them the right boost in life. And we think it's normal to be consuming cow's milk after we weaned off our mother's breast. And um, that's not actually a very normal thing when you, th when you think about it. And um, we, a lot of people get results very quickly just by taking out cow's milk. You'd be amazed at how, how many people can get results just by taking out cow's milk. There's a variety now of different alternatives to milk these days. And uh, for example, hemp milk or coconut milk or oat milk or what else almond you know there's a variety if you must consume milk there are alternatives um when i work with people one-on-one -on -one or in group coaching or whatever we i work with you to help you find alternatives and to enjoy your diet at the same time without seeing it as like a, a sacrifice but i promise you that there are really great ways of eating an enjoyable diet without having milk and you can still get plenty of calcium from plant-based sources so this is the next bit. You want to inflammation really starts in the gut. It's uh, it's it's almost everything. Uh, gut health. It's uh, and I, and I like this picture because it says take care of your gut and it will take care of you. Our gut is again where the immune system is and it's normally the first place where inflammation starts. So I've, I've given you a few examples of what is foreign or what might be causing this inflammatory effect on your body, and I just want to give this um, quick story of what potentially can happen in your gut which is a, a phenomenon called leaky gut you might have heard of it 
So this is from a book called The Autoimmune Solution by Dr. Amy Myers. She helps people reverse all these autoimmune conditions. Um, she's a doctor turned functional medicine doctor. She's a brilliant, brilliant woman. Uh, she had her thyroid out when she was only conventionally trained. She thought her, the only option available to her was to have a thyroid out because she had this thyroid disease. And then she got retrained in functional medicine, which is the way of the, the, way of the future for sure, which helps people get to the root cause of their symptoms. And then she realized she didn't have to have a thyroid out. All she had to do was change what she was eating because she realized the gluten, the grains that she was consuming were causing these problems in her gut. So here's what happened when we consume things that cause the gut to tear. And I'm going to read this verbatim. So you can think of your gut lining as a drawbridge. And this is, I love the way she's presented this because it's so simple. Teeny tiny boats, micronutrients, these are vitamins, these little tiny little vitamins and minerals in your food that are meant to travel back and forth are able to go under the bridge without a problem. But things such as gluten, so bread, pasta, breakfast cereals, um, it's a major problem in the US because of the way the, the gluten has been uh, mutated. It's gone through this process called mutagenesis. I won't talk about this now. So such things as gluten, gut infections, medications, toxins can cause the drawbridge to go up, allowing bigger bro boats to get there. Can cause the drawbridge to go up, allowing bigger boats to cross over that aren't meant to travel through. In this case, it's microbes, toxins, pathogens, proteins, and partially digested food particles that are passing under the drawbridge and escaping into your bloodstream. So another way of saying this is your, your intestines are, this is where we absorb all our food, all our nutrients and micronutrients and everything. And it's a semi-permeable membrane, meaning it's, it, it's meant to allow some things through. The tiny, 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 tiny molecules is meant to happen. But when we consume things which cause the, this to tear, like these things here, like the gluten, like the dairy, like you know, certain things can actually cause the, the lining to, to tear and then these foreign things enter the bloodstream, triggering an inflammatory response. And in the case of autoimmune diseases like psoriasis, which, which is kind of the next level of inflammation, as it were, this is when your immune system turns on to itself. And it's all related to the, to the gut, the leaky gut. So it's, it's amazing. The good, the good news about this, by the way, is the gut repairs so fast, so fast, when you give it what it needs and take away what is harming it. I, I, I should have highlighted medications on this particular diagram. Medications are one of the reasons why we have problems in our gut. You may have heard of the pill for a pill for society in which we live. When we take medications, the actual medications themselves can cause problems. So it's a really, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, I'm very passionate about under, helping people to understand this because I've, I've been approached by many, many different people now with all, all sorts of conditions, mainly skin conditions, mainly eczema. And I'll give you this one particular story. A couple of weeks ago, about a month ago now, I was approached by a newly qualified medical doctor, 27-year-old woman from Sydney, and she was covered in head-to-toe dermatitis weeping. I'm sure you know what that's like when your skin's wide open, very, very sore. And she, um, she, you know, she was suffering. And she told me that she was recently qualified. And I said, this is interesting. Have, what kind of training have you received about the relationship with your gut and your skin? And she said, nothing. And I said, I knew what the response was going to be, but I just wanted her to tell me. And I said, wouldn't this be really cool? After about half an hour of a call with her, I said, wouldn't it be really cool if at the end of working together, when you've healed your skin from the inside out, when you've balanced the gut, that you can actually go and share this with your community? Wouldn't that be amazing? and um, you know, your doctor friends, et cetera. And then you can share this stuff, because it's real. And she said, oh, there's a lot of resistance. There's a lot of resistance to this. Um, and then she said, yeah, people just, they just don't really want to know. And uh, she said her dermatologist had categorically told her that there is no relationship between the gut health and the skin. So I said, That's, uh, that doesn't surprise me, because I know how they're trained. However, I'm just going to give this analogy because I like analogies. That's the same as saying there's no relationship between your, the engine in your car and your car moving. That's how, that's how clear it is now, the, the relationship between the gut and your skin. In fact, there are gut and every, every health condition actually known to man. The point is we want to be looking after our microbiome, these, this gut, gut bacteria, and having a healthy gut. And you're, the, beauty, the beautiful thing is it repairs very very fast. We just need to 
take away the harmful things and give the body what it needs. So secret number three, know why you don't know about this root cause and take your power back. So I resolved to having eczema for most of my life. I thought I just had to get, sorry, I didn't think I had the ability to get rid of it. I thought it was just genetics. I thought it was my curse. I had no idea about epigenetics. I'll, I'll explain that in a second. You know what? I'm going to explain it right now. Epigenetics, I'm going to explain it really fast because I, I, I know you're, you're, you're probably itching to get out. It's New Year's Eve. <laughs> but it's, um, epigenetics is basically a science which has been around since 2005. And what they have done is proven that our genes have very, very little impact on our, whether we actually get a disease. I want to quote, I want to put this in quotation marks, a disease or not. And what I mean is it's really the environment that we keep in our bodies, which determines whether a gene is turned on or off, which might result in something like eczema or diabetes or cancer. So we now know that 95% of all illnesses and all disease is a result of the environment that we keep in our bodies. This is a massive, 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 massive point to understand. 95% of all illness available, is available to us is within our control, which is so empowering to know, if you ask me. It's so awesome to know because that means that only 5%, only 5% of anything, any condition available to us is out of our control. It's actually, the, the, the technical term is um, only 5% are a result of genes which are fully penetrant. And that means that they are not impacted by the environment and it's, they, they will just turn on in, in, at a certain point in our lives. So only, that's only 5%. And eczema is one of the ones that we're in full control of. So we can actually turn it on or off depending on the environment we keep in our bodies. So you may be thinking, okay, environment, what do you mean by environment? Well, environment is really what we're putting in our bodies, how we're moving, how we're managing emotions like stress. Uh, some really cool stuff about emotions now I've been learning in the last year is we can change our immune system by this quality of our emotions. It's really incredible. And there's a lot to um, understand here, but you know, that's why I bring it into my program later on. So I didn't know eczema was simply a symptom of something and I had no idea how powerful my body is in healing itself. So my greatest aha moment ever, well, other than finding out that everything has a root cause, is this. I got suspicious as a teenager. I mentioned earlier, I'd go to the doctor, I would, I would be given a steroid or a drug or, you know, just a really pathetic moisturizer. There's one, there's one called Diprobase, which is loaded with horrible chemicals. And that's all I was given. So for 20 odd years, um, you know, this is... I guess, yeah, 20 year, odd years I was doing the same thing and then I was suffering for about 30. So I remember being in my mid-teens, going to the doctor and I remember sitting exactly where, I remember exactly where I was sitting and I sat opposite the doctor and he said to me, and I had an infected eczema, you know when it gets kind of infected and yellow and horrible. Um, he, he just said, okay, what are, are you allergic to penicillin? And I just remember thinking, uh, I don't know. He, he just looked at his computer and it's like he just cross-referenced eczema with a drug. And I, and I remember his eyes going across the screen. And I was like, what are you doing? He's just looking at a spreadsheet of drugs here. And uh, that's, that's basically what he was doing. And he just, he, he prescribed me this, this penicillin and steroids. And, and I just walked away from the doctor's surgery with my prescription thinking, what is wrong? What, what, <laughs> there's something very wrong here. So now I'm about to tell you why this happened. Fast forward 20 years later, um, I'm in my late 30s now, and here, here is the truth. Here is why doctors and dermatologists are not trained in nutrition. And by the way, this is not to disrespect them as people because they're clearly wonderful people and they're doing whatever they're doing as people for wonderful reasons. It's just that we, as the end user, as the person who is listening to these authorities, we need to understand their training because once you understand the training, you then go, ah, now I get it. Now I get it. So let's go. Brief history. Why doctors and dermatologists are not trained in nutrition or to heal. It's all down to these two chaps. Carnegie and Rockefeller. So Carnegie and Rockefeller, steel giant, oil giants. Very, very wealthy people back in the early 1900s. Throughout the, eight, throughout the 1800s and early 1900s, there were lots of natural approaches to medicine. There were medical herbalists, 
homeopathic doctors, naturopaths, eclectic herbal type medicines. All of these, by the way, med medicine used to help the body to heal. That's what medicine used to be. It used to help the body to heal. And then in 1910, Carnegie and Rockefeller commissioned the Carnegie and Rockefeller Foundation, and, or rather, sorry, they, they founded the Carnegie and Rockefeller Foundation, and they decided there must be a better way to um, help, in quotation marks, people with illnesses. You know what? It may not have been out of ill intent. It may have been a really very out of good intent. They may have thought drugs are better because they were, they were manufacturing their own drugs. And they may have thought, you know, these are way better than the natural things. Let's, let's start steering the education taught to doctors. So this is what happened. They orchestrated a genius way for there to be one way, their way for medicine, introducing the Flexner Report of 1910. What this did was it, is, it eliminated all competition for patent petrochemical education. Patent petrochemical is basically the drugs. And remember, competition meaning lots of different types of uh, approaches to medicines. So earlier I talked about the natural approaches. They wanted to get rid of that competition. So the, the education taught to doctors would be about the drugs that they were manufacturing. So what does this mean? This meant that they had the power to influence the course material taught to doctors to make it about drugs that they were manufacturing. Donors from the Carnegie and Rockefeller Foundation would sit on the boards of medical schools throughout the US and they started to steer the material taught to doctors. So they learned about petrochemical medicine, the drugs, their drugs, the drugs that they were manufacturing. Patent, as you're probably aware, is uh, it's a system, patent petrochemical education or patent drugs really is understanding that they, through protecting the ingredient, the, the ingredients of the drugs, the protection is called the patent, and a patent is worth a lot of money. And this is where the medical industry turns into a business, because a, a huge amount of money can be made from drugs because of the patent which is protected. No one else can do it. And, you know, there are a lot of money to obtain, but they're also very valuable once you create them. So Carnegie and Rockefeller began to immediately pour hundreds of millions of dollars into these medical schools that were teaching drug intensive medicine. The AMA, that's the American Medical Association, were evaluating the various medical colleges targeted and shut down the largest respected homeopathic colleges. So the American Medical Association, who we're thinking, surely there's a board that we should be trusting here, they were paid off by Carnegie and Rockefeller as well. I don't know the exact figure, but they started to close down all these Res more respected homeopathic colleges. Here's a little timeline for you. 1925, 10,000 herbalists were out of business. By 1940, over 1,500 chiropractors, chiropractors were prosecuted for practicing quackery. That was a new made up term, quackery. And you can still find what you can find websites these days. And it's, they're just kind of taking down all these natural, um, they're just slating natural doctors basically which is horrific. The actual websites, these quackery websites need to be taken down because they're causing a lot of harm. Anyway, 22 homeopathic medical schools that flourished in the, late, in, in the 1900s dwindled down to just two by 1923. And by 1950, all schools teaching homeopathy were closed. So can you see what's happened here? In the space of 40 years, between 1910 and 1950, all of these natural approaches to medicine were shut down. And this, ladies and gentlemen, um, oh, one, one last thing. In the end, if a physician, that means a doctor, did not graduate with a Flexner approved degree, Flexner meaning as a result of the Flexner report, report uh, as a result of Carnegie and Rockefeller Medicine, you know, the, the Flexner approved degree is the education system that they created. So if they graduated without a Flexner approved medical school and receive an MD degree, he or she would not find a job anywhere. And it has remained the same ever since. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why today MDs and doctors and physicians are so heavily biased towards synthetic drug therapy and know little about nutrition, if anything. There's a pretty shocking statistic. And in, in, in England, this became very evident in the papers this year, this year actually, about three or four months ago, how doctors receive very little training in nutrition, if anything. In America, in a third of schools throughout the whole of the US, there is no requirement whatsoever to do any training in nutrition. And if they do, it's normally about one hour. And that's why uh, doctors often just, well, let's, let's be, be clear now. There's different types of doctors. There are, there are conscious doctors and then there are unconscious doctors. Doctors who are kind of familiar with all this 
understand the limitations of their training and they will be very open. They'll say, yeah, we don't get any nutrition training. The best thing to do is really look at your diet and how you're moving and all this kind of stuff. The unconscious doctor is someone who's been completely brainwashed by the system and they, it's almost like they've been educated out of their own way of thinking, <laughs> their own intelligence, and they think that drugs are the only way. So, and that, that sounded a bit disrespectful, and I'm sorry if that sounded disrespectful. We just need to be mindful because I care about people, I care about you, and I want people not to understand the truth. And that is that we must know their training. Um, they have been trained to, to treat uh, with drugs, and this is why. So you're, the body is this immensely powerful self-healing machine. It's just that we've been kind of conditioned out of this power that we all have to heal ourselves. So this is why we have a pill for a pill society. This is pill for a pill is when you, um, you prescribe a drug to um, address one symptom and that drug creates a symptom for which another pill is then addressed. So one pill for another pill for another pill for another pill. It's, um, it's a pretty shocking system. Um, and this is why people end up being on a cocktail of drugs in later life. They think it's normal. It's not normal. It's absolutely not normal to be on drugs in later life. That's the conditioning of the current system. So um, this is why dermatologists know nothing about gut health in healing your skin. This is why skin doctors, ladies and gentlemen, know nothing about gut health in healing your skin. So another thing to know about drugs is whilst they're brilliant in emergencies, they get us out of trouble. I'd, I'd hate for you not to use them in emergencies, but they come with side effects. They all come with side effects, some with serious side effects. They, uh, in America alone, they, they kill about 400,000 people in America when used correctly side effects from drugs when used correctly. It's a pretty nasty statistic. Um, the, the FDA itself reports on 100, over 100,000 people every year. And then the figure, according to Bruce Lipton, who wrote The Biology of Belief, said it's nearer to 400,000 people every year. So these are side effects when used correctly as prescribed by their doctors leading to death. And then there's other millions of um, side effects from drugs which are serious, but they're not uh, fatal. So it doesn't, it's not a, it doesn't sound it's not cheery, but it's good to know because once we understand that, yes, they, they might get us out of trouble, we want to understand the effects that they also have on the body. And if we can, whenever possible, not use them uh, and understand that the, the body will heal so fast. The skin is just trying to tell you something. So my life now, majority of the time, I'm 90% clear skin. I go about my daily sharp, go on dates with confidence. I only scratch when I have an itch. Um, on that point, you're probably aware of um, unconscious scratching, habitual scratching, addictive scratching. It's a very weird psychology that goes with this. And I've kind of reprogrammed my mind, if you will. So I don't scratch out of habit anymore. And I don't, I, I really do my best not to seek pleasure from it. You know what I'm talking about, how much pleasure you get from scratching that itch. So very few minor outbreaks. So how I healed my skin, I obsessively researched the latest in science in chronic inflammation. Uh, interviewed doctors, experts, coaches. I slowly stacked one effective skin clearing action after the other until I had a full system and I stuck with it. And now I present it to other people. I have a program that I help people with to do the same thing. So in the past hour, would you agree it's been time well spent? I hope this has been valuable for you. Uh, let's just see how many people have to say. Oh, excellent. There's still, more, still people here, which means you're, you're finding this valuable. Excellent. Has this given you a new perspective on what eczema really is? I really hope it has. Um, I'll just say it again in case you missed it, in case you were multitasking. Eczema is a symptom. It is just trying to tell you something. That's all it is. It's not a disease. It's not a hereditary thing. Yes, it might be hereditary. You might be predisposed to getting it. But ultimately, um, these, the gene that you have for it can be overridden. Uh, it can be changed by the environment that you keep in your body. So that's the beautiful, um, very powerful thing about the body. It will heal. We just need to listen to these symptoms. Now, I can't cover everything you need now in an, in an hour-long webinar. Even if I had all day, I couldn't cover uh, the stuff I've learned over the last four years. In fact, I've been in nutrition since 2011, but particularly inflammation since about early 2015. So I have a special opportunity for you so you can get everything you need to know now. Let me ask you, information alone isn't enough. How many books have you read and not implemented? I mean, I'm one of these self-help people. I love reading all these kind of books and attending events and online, sem uh, online seminars and stuff. A lot of it becomes shelf help, S-H-E-L-F. 
And this is when we just buy stuff and we read it. And then we go, well, wonderful, and then go to the next thing. So the point is, information alone isn't enough. Old habits die hard. And we need to kind of change our habits when it comes to getting rid of eczema from the inside out. We need to actually change our habits and make it fun as well, which is what I do when I work with people. You have two choices. This is the way I see it. You have two choices. You've probably got more, but I see you've got two <laughs> choices. Investment replenishes, meaning money uh, is always replaced. It comes and goes. It's like energy. It comes and goes, and it will always be replaced. Time cannot be replaced. And I like to think of an investment as something you get a return on. So you get value, you get a transformation. When I work with people, I get a, help, get a transformation, like a life transformation. That's what I consider an investment, when there's a huge value you get from it. And I've got exciting news for you. So I've created the eczema solution. This is, ha this is helping you bridge that gap I referred to right at the beginning. So step one, I'm covering kind of three main areas as it would, as it, as it were. Mindset, so massive. This is, your, this is your psychology and applying this stuff. And it's really huge. It's understanding the power of our emotions. So that's our stress, behaviors, habits, and addictions. I touched on this earlier. Um, eczema can become a behavior and a habit and an addiction. It's weird because we kind of unconsciously train ourselves to scratch, to scratch ourselves in times of stress. And um, there's a system, there's a way that we can change all this, which I brought into this program. Number two is physical. So this is nutrition and physical activity, movement. I don't like to use the word exercise because sometimes people think, think of that as like a chore. And um, it's, just, it's about getting the body moving. It's about getting the lymphatic system working. This is the part of your immune system responsible for getting rid of dead cells, dead cancer cells, dead waste products. If we're not moving, if we're not active, the immune system can't work properly. This waste disposal part of the immune system can't work when we're inactive. So this is about bringing ways into your life where you become active again. You're, you're probably aware, you probably know people who are inactive and they're always getting ill. I know, I know people who are inactive, they're always ill. Also people who are chronic, chronically negatively, chronic negative emotions, chronically stressed, chronically finding problems with things, they're always getting ill. There's a number of things happening here, but the point is our, there's a number of things that affect the immune system and we need to get it control, under control, get everything balanced, and then the skin just naturally clears up. Like It's almost miraculous what happens. So the food you eat can be either the safest and most powerful form of medicine or the slowest form of poison. I mentioned earlier how things in our supermarkets and our grocery stores are causing a lot of harm. They're causing more harm than good in many, many cases. So we just need to be more mindful. And I don't want, to, I don't want you to become like a food Nazi. I don't consider myself a food Nazi. It's, it's about eating stuff, consuming stuff that's delicious and tasty and enjoyable and just changing, changing little things, little tweaks to make it an enjoyable process. You know, you can have cakes, you can have bread, you can have all this kind of stuff. It's just using slightly different ingredients. And then the final bit is the environment. So there's that picture again, these um, farmers um, in biological, head to toe, biolog biological protective gear. It just shows how harmful it is if this stuff gets on their skin. And then we're consuming these veg vegetables or fruits thinking that we're not going to get any harm from them. We, we need to be aware of our environment. So it's not just what we eat, it's, it's what we can uh, exposed to. We can't eliminate exposure completely because otherwise we'd have to just live in a bubble with no atmosphere or something. But we just need to understand where these toxins come from. And if, you're an, if you've been an eczema sufferer for some time, you'll understand how some detergents may cause problems, your washing powders and creams and we just need to be aware of this stuff so i've got this all for you in this program then we've got the 12 pillars of no inflammation this is my award-winning program i got the southern california sustainable business award for this in early 2017 uh helping people reverse all sorts of chronic inflammatory health conditions so i'm going to whiz through this really fast but the first bits neuro skills and psychology what i mean is brain skills here just helping you get aligned and motivated inspired to help you do this whole thing Oxygen intake enhancement, breathing more. Most of us aren't breathing enough. You wouldn't believe most people do not breathe sufficiently. So you can breathe your eczema away. So fluids, hydration, cleansing, and detoxification, lymphatic immune support, I mentioned that earlier, and the immune system activity, moving, macronutrients, your proteins, your fats, carbohydrates, micronutrients. These are so important for getting rid of skin conditions and helping your skin regenerate. 
feeding the body at the cellular level. This is basically we're made up of 50 or trillion cells. We need to understand what fuels the body and what causes the body harm. And then we have toxin and sorry, asleep. So this is um, I'm obviously making up the, the letters no inflammation, asleep, I mean sleep. We need to get high quality sleep, toxin and poison elimination. I say all big reduction, we, again, we can't completely eliminate it. Then we have insulin sensitivity, which is the opposite of insulin resistance, which is the root cause of type two diabetes and many other things. So we wanna be sensitive to insulin and then looking into um, more advanced strategies like intermittent fasting, ketosis and more. Then we have orthopedics and care of the human frame. The spine is like the hard drive to the body and we need to really be careful with our posture and how, uh, how, we, how we sit, how we walk, how we stand, all this kind of stuff. You wouldn't, it's amazing how much this impacts our health. And then we have Nature's Pharmacy, which is no drugs, natural supplements. You may have heard this in my voice, a little bit of passion in this. I'm really helping, trying to inspire people to not take drugs whenever they can. Again, in emergencies, cool. But when, when, we, when used consistently, there's, you're gonna be causing harm in your body. And um, I don't want to see you suffer like I saw my father suffer. So this is uh, all powerful stuff. So my, the next live course starts on the 2nd of January, fresh in the new year, 2019. Testimonials very, very quickly. I'm not going to do 100 of these. Um, I was recently getting bad flare-ups. Five days after doing this, my skin changed. It got its smooth feeling back and my eczema literally has disappeared. Daniel, this is Edwin, day zero his hand on the left hand side uh day seven is uh top right that's how fast you can heal your skin when you give it what it when you think about the gut health and six weeks bottom right is pretty much gone but it's not perfectly gone but he did he did confess to me that he wasn't religious with this the whole time meaning he wasn't completely 100 percent committed so when we kind of drift in and out you know we can get flare-ups but when you commit to this stuff you, it's amazing how fast the skin can clear um, my mindset is different, the way I look at food is different. But th th that's great. And the next bit I just love so much. The quality of my life, oh, sorry, the quality of my life with my children has greatly improved. For me, it was life changing and the best thing I've ever done. I highly recommend this program. That's Mike, Mark Rayworth. This guy not only cleared up skin conditions, but he, uh, he's got a video, I don't have a picture of him, but he's, he, he got rid of his arthritis. He, he burnt 42 pounds of fat. Even the plaque on his teeth fell off. It was amazing. Um, what are you going to get? So you're going to get the seven-day eczema kickstart program called Clear Skin in Seven. It's very hard to value these things. I have been selling that a little less recently. It's worth way more um, than, than this. I mean, you put the value on the transformation and uh, you can, we can decide. This is what I valued it at. Six-week training video series, 497 in value. Again, looking at the transformational value that this provides. Then we have six weeks of group coaching. This is where my time is involved. I do charge um, quite a lot for my private coaching and you're gonna get it at a snippet of that. Then we have, the that's the total value is 1500. So who will this work for? If you've had eczema for most of your life, if you rely on heavily on antibiotics and creams, if you've tried changing your diet and lifestyle but saw very little effect on your skin, so I had two choices. Number one was to go cheap as possible and try to sell as many as possible. It wouldn't incentivize me really to stack the value though. And also when there's not enough skin in the game, sometimes, and I'm guilty of this myself, if you don't invest enough, you don't value it and then you don't implement and then you don't commit and then you don't get the results. So the second option is to require a slightly higher investment, not what I showed you earlier. And in exchange, I can devote more resources to guarantee your success. I guarantee your success here. And I'll come on to that in a second. Seven days, so there we go again. I'm not going to read that out again. So the, the first bonus is a 30-minute call with me privately, um, 97 in value. It's worth, I think it's worth way more than that. But you and me, get on the phone. We can just do the first 30 minutes together, and I can give you the best kickstart known to man. Bonus number two, Body Sculpting Mojo Blueprint Program. I've got a program specific for men's health because that's where my, my initial... Um, interest in health and fitness was actually back in 2011 and I have a whole program uh, body sculpting like uh, what's it called free weight exercises body weight exercises and uh, and all kind of exercises with weights so then you're gonna get all of this stuff with those um, videos and bonus products you're gonna get it's worth about 1800 and 
I'd just like to ask this question. If all this did was prevent you from having a major outbreak, would it be worth it? What's clear skin worth to you? How much would you invest to get clear skin for the rest of your life? You can see why the pay, others are paying me 1997 for, pri for private coaching. Depending on what, what you, how you work with me, it, tr it starts at 997 for private coaching, up to 5,000 for, for like two months, fully, I call it a con concierge service. So it's, this is obviously um, not as obtainable for many, many people, but obviously the results are amazing when, when I work one-on-one -on -one with people, and they're also brilliant when I do group coaching. So you can see why it's a good deal at 997, I'm going to charge us 297 today uh, for six weeks of this private coach, sorry, group coaching starting on the 2nd of January. And I'm going to guarantee it. When I say guarantee, this is what I mean. I mean, when you commit to this and you take part and you, you ask questions and you take part in the community and um, if for whatever reason, after six weeks, you haven't got results, then I'll happily refund you. And also, also, you're, you are PayPal protected, meaning that if after 45 days, you don't feel like you have the value, you actually have the PayPal protection. And I'm, I'm saying this because I want to make this completely no, a no-brainer. So you just start and then I can get your results. The only thing I'd ask is that when you do get results and you do feel good and you do enjoy the process and you enjoy everything, please don't ask for your money back. I've got to earn a living <laughs> and you're getting a lot of my time. So that's the only thing I ask. So if you had two choices, oh, now you had two choices. So do nothing and not take this leap of faith, which is 100% risk-free. I've told you it's risk-free. Second option is to choose to trust me and invest in yourself in your own health today. If it works, great. If not, just ask for your money back and you'll get it. Um, so you're, you're protected by my word and my own reputation, my own brand, and you're protected by, by PayPal as well. So 30-day guarantee. If, if you don't have the results, within 30 days, if you don't get what you're looking for, if you don't feel like you're getting the results, I'll happily refund you. Um, I'm a man of my word, of my authenticity, my, it's a huge value of mine. And if you don't get the results, then I, if you don't get the value, I don't get paid. It's as simple as that. So um, let's move on. So the real question is, do you trust me to be your guide? Do you trust that what I've said during this, uh, during this presentation has it been valuable for you? And is it worth your time to learn about how to heal from within rather than just shoot the messenger with steroids and antibiotics? That's what, that's what drugs are. They just, you just shoot the messenger. So um, other treatments can cause topical steroid withdrawal syndrome. This is, when you're, um, this is when you become dependent on it. I don't want you to become dependent or a prisoner to any drug. This is how you heal your skin from within and regain your freedom. So all of that worth 1800, you're gonna get it for 297 today. And I really hope you take me up on this because it's been exciting. I love seeing the results and I love hearing from people. That's why I do what I do. I think that's the last slide. Ah, there we go. Your body's ability to heal is greater than anyone has allowed you to believe. I wanted to fill up, um, end with that slide because it's so, so powerful and uh, important to know. Um, Oh, there is one last thing I just saw here. I just wanted to say, say a huge thank you for all you're doing as eczema, allergies, hay fever, etc., which often accompany it, accompany it, can also destroy confidence and make people's lives unbearable. Lots of love to you. That's a comment I got on YouTube, actually. I, I love these. I love these comments. So, yes, I'm going to open up the floor now and see if anyone has any questions. Because I know there's some people here. Far away, ask me questions. I'm here at your service. Oh, one of you is on a phone I've just seen. <laughs> 